Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. Okay, our wing that uh, your guys' uh, thoughts and advice on how to repair, this wing was in really bad shape. It came in my brand new E-Flight Extra 300 3D that was box damaged and the two wings took the most of the damage. And this wing was really was was bad. It was bent in a in a pretty good U, and you could flex it back and forth, and you could see the crack down the center of it. With your guys' uh, advice and thoughts, we did the hot water bathtub trick, and then we glued in some stringers to reinforce it. And I'm going to do that with the other wing. That way, the plane is balanced. And we took the decals off with an iron. To do the whole bathtub process and so on and I've got the decals back on one side so let's try to make this side look like this wing and then we'll compare apples to apples these are the same wings this one's not damaged and this one was damaged once we get the decals on let's see uh, see what it looks like see how good uh, our job turned out so I guess sit tight let me get my iron out and uh, Happy Mother's Day to everybody tomorrow, all the mothers out there, and I hope everybody's having a good weekend, and subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up, guys. All right, let me get my tools out. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Click the like button and leave a comment, and then... Uh, Ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying. Okay, I got a hobby iron that is used for covering over the balsa and, and wood airplanes. can also be used for many other things. I've got the good wing to kind of go by just so I can remember how it all goes down. We're going to start with the aileron. If it sticks and it stays down, great. If it doesn't, we tried and uh, step back and do something else. So the way we got it off was applying a little heat and that loosened up the, uh, you know, the adhesive on the back. And that's how I'm going to try to get it off this uh, cardboard. And then we'll stick it stick it back down the same way. Once you get it going, it kind of comes up. Kind of need another another hand. Let me grab one. I guess I could have used that clamp right next to me, but. That would have been too easy. So here's our here's our mess. It needs to go on there like that. Just like so. Hot hot. Kind of get it eyeballed. Cat hair and all is going on. Oh, oh, you guys okay? I think we'll start with start with that. Make sure that that's going square. Then we feed the rest of it down.
seems to be pretty pretty good right here these two pieces All right, black one down first Like it's right at the creek. Yep, yeah, looks like it's gonna go back. Oh, dang it! Keep knocking you guys around. But the heat is what activates the. Uh, the adhesive in it to get sticky again. Makes it sticky and you know then it also shrinks up a little bit. These ends are gonna be a little different because I've peeled up some paint. Might have to go back and do something about that. It's on there. I bet if we would have stuck this to like some aluminum foil or something, that that probably would have been better as far as as far as preserving the stickiness. You know, because we lost a, a little bit on this cardboard. All right. So these <clears throat> these edges aren't sticking down all that well. So I'll probably do my clear clear vinyl, maybe some kind of an overlay to, around the edges only or something. Alright, last piece. I went ahead and got it off of the off the cardboard. Go something like so. Oh, there's that messed up corner in there that, that I gave up on. Oh, well.
up in the uh, up up in the air you won't be able to see these wrinkles If they come off or something, I can always get the get the decal kit. Let's put this guy together. Hey Brutus. What's him doing? You wanna come in here and say hi there, buddy? Like that. Get a servo tester right here. I'm going to select neutral and I just plugged it in, there's manual and there's neutral. I went ahead and unplugged it I didn't hear it move. I'm going to get the control service as neutral as I think it should be. And I'm kind of looking at the other at the other one too to see where it's at on the other wing. A little bit a little bit harder when you're trying to that's down a little. I need to manually adjust it a little bit. But that's going to be good enough for government work right now. Go ahead and put the screw in it so we just don't lose it. Then we can plug this guy back up. on manual and then neutral so we now have the wing we repaired and the wing that we have to go by so one of these wings was in bad shape <laughs> Tell you what guys, it's, it's actually pretty hard to hard to tell. I mean obviously it's not perfect by any means. But when I just look at some of the lines on like how far is this gap underneath can, compared to this one and you know I'm able to look at them just a little bit different than you guys are, but I see 
I see that it's it's good. We can uh, <clears throat> we can definitely definitely fly it. I think I'm gonna take my clear adhesive vinyl and maybe kind of go around the edges to hold our decals down. The damage was right around this area right here and it was dipped down and I used to be able to I used to be able to really flex it back and forth and now I really can't I feel my thumbs you know denting into the foam before it wants to move anything so I would say the wing that we repaired with your ideas is just as strong if not stronger than this other one. Pretty dang good. You know this wing on top is the one that doesn't have any hinges in it. Different color gray. I wonder if there's any other different markings in it. Like this little round mark is like, I guess the when this was liquid, when it was pushed in or whatever into the mold. <clears throat> it's in the same spot. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't.